delicious and steamy. Good morning to you lovely, lovely ladies, and of course, you handsome gentlemen. Welcome to my kitchen. I am Daisy Van Dorsch, and you are going to learn a little bit of how to do something steamy and delicious. I've decided to wet my sauce box with a little mimosa. In case you don't know what a sauce box is, that is, of course, if you weren't around in the 1800s, my mouth with this mimosa. Why don't you just join me? Have one, two, maybe even three. Cheers. Lovely, isn't it? Well, so you ask, what will we be having for today's delectable delight? Ham Swiss cheese roller. Recipes will be provided below. Our crescent dough, very lovely. Little Pillsbury dough to, you know, they should make them thicker, <laughs> don't you think? Well, let's pop them. Oh dear, oh, 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 gotta pull the tab. There we go. Hit it once, twice, maybe three times till it bursts out of its shell and let it open up so that it can rise to the occasion. There you go. And now, pre-prepared a pan for your delectable delight on which you're going to use your dough. Just have that ready with a piece of parchment paper sourced and lubricated for it to stick just right. Set aside and unroll your dough. Yes, unroll that lovely dough whilst it sits and rises as you touch a little bit of the delicious ham. In this case, I have a lovely black forest ham. Um, you could, however, use that divine thick Italian sausage. Uh, the salami, you know. You could use salami if you like. It's up to you what kind of meat you want. Absolutely. Just try it all, darlings. No harm in tasting a little bit here and there, is it? So, we're going to spread our ham. Just spread it liberally and evenly. And make sure there's quite a good amount of meat, if you know what I mean. You need a good little dash of creamy goodness. Pull it open. Ah, pull it open, dearies. Oh, yes. Now, these happen to be some really long slices. I'm going to put just a few of these long slices as they are large enough to fit the bill, so to speak. You know. Um, anyway, a sip. Cheers. Shall we have another? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Very strange, that lot. And then, what do we do? We just roll and make an even thicker dough. Beautiful. Look at that lovely, delicious, filled dough. Isn't it glorious? Now that you have your lovely, thick dough rolled all out, make sure the seam is at the bottom when you head to slicing this juicy, meat-filled deliciousness. Our slices will probably be around an inch, maybe an inch and a half, depending on how thick you like your stuff. Our food. <laughs> and just slice, and slice, and slice. Bring over your ready prepared pan. Face up. Just slap it down. Just press it together. Press it all together and then set aside. Yes, darling, make your sauce. Now, pour the sauce. An entire stick, one stick, half a cut of butter. Just melt it deliciously. Some of our yellow mustard. Some of our Worcestershire sauce. 
minced onion and poppy seeds just for a little special treat. Make sure you get every ounce of delicious juice into your bowl. Yes, set aside and whisk. Just whisk. Once you've done that, you're going to pour this over those deliciously meat filled dough rolls and set them in the oven at 350 oh, for about 17 to 20 minutes oh and pour look at that butter oh, as it just lubricates <laughs> so darling whilst that's baking away and rising to the occasion don't be shy keep on staring at Cupid's kettle drums what is that you say boobs obviously <laughs> look at this darlings yes indeed I have our baked buns that we so deliciously sourced up consume these or rather lick these tallywags you know imagination don't forget to like us on Facebook tweet us on Twitter and of course do subscribe here below ta-ta for now have a fabulous evening don't forget a little libation never hurt anyone Delicious and steamy.